That's a big, big tornado. The violent tornado that struck Oklahoma yesterday followed almost the same path as an equally strong tornado in 1999. Both storms, like thousands of others that hit the Central Plains every spring, were caused by the collision of two air masses, one full of warm, moist air from the Gulf of Mexico, the other with cooler, drier air from the north. Paul Schlatter is a tornado specialist with the National Weather Service. He says the ability to forecast that a tornado system is beginning to form has improved dramatically. In 1999, the best we could do was a two-day outlook, so providing our partners in emergency management, law enforcement, two days to prepare for a possible tornado outbreak. Today, we issue forecast, accurate forecast, out to eight days. Short-term precision forecasting of tornadoes has also improved because of advances in radar and supercomputers. Two or three decades ago, the Weather Service could give only a few minutes' notice of exactly where and when a tornado would strike. Yesterday, we provided, before the tornado even touched down, we provided 16 minutes of time uh, in, in the form of a tornado warning. And for people living in heavily populated areas, it was about 30 minutes before the tornado reached them. If they had 30 minutes to prepare, largely because of your ability to predict storms, uh, why was this such a deadly storm? So tornadoes of this magnitude, if you're not below ground or in, in a below ground shelter, it, it's awfully difficult to survive just because houses are wiped clean. And in this part of Oklahoma, not many people have basements. The National Weather Service hopes that within about 10 years, they'll be able to predict exactly where and when a tornado is going to hit. And Scott, if that happens, they say people will be able to simply get in their cars, go pick up their kids uh, at the school and drive to safety. Chip, I wonder, are there scientists who believe that there is a link between these tornadoes and climate change? Well, Scott, there may be some, but they are in a distinct minority, according to the National Weather Service. They say there is no established scientific link between climate change and tornadoes. In fact, they say there is no hard evidence that tornadoes are increasing in either intensity or frequency. Fascinating. Chip, thank you very much.